Susan Page, Washington Bureau Chief of USA Today, and this is Capital Download. We're in Asheville, North Carolina with Sarah Palin. Thanks so much for joining us. Thank you. It's my honor. You have a new book out, Good Tidings and Great Joy, Protecting the Heart of Christmas. Does the heart of Christmas need protecting? Uh, I think it does, Susan. I think that uh, there are some in our culture today who would want to censor some of our um, ability, our desire, our right to celebrate Christmas traditionally and um, kind of translates in, into something greater and, and that is censoring our right to exercise our faith as we deem fit. So yeah, protecting the heart of Christmas will lead to protecting the heart of our nation and protecting faith in general. So this means things like allowing religious carols in public schools or having merchants say Merry Christmas instead of Happy Holidays. Sure. Here is what our community chooses to do. Here is what we would desire to do when it comes to celebrating Christmas in our city or in our local school district or a, a, a local a shopkeeper, uh, for instance, not being made to feel intimidated if they want to put up a big Merry Christmas sign. It, here, here is what we do. You show up at a town council meeting. You, um, you write a letter to the editor. You, um, you make your voice heard instead of just capitulating, sitting back and saying, oh yeah, I guess there is this erosion of our right to exercise our faith. So be it. Heck no, don't give up. Don't, make, don't let anybody tell you to sit down and shut up and not celebrate Christmas the way that you want to. Another uh, criticism that's sometimes made is that this reflects an increasingly diverse America. A lot of Americans are not Christians and that that we need to, especially in public places like public schools and town councils, reflect that, have a sensitivity to the fact that not everybody is celebrating Christmas. And I absolutely understand that and, and agree that not everyone wants to celebrate Christmas, but I don't want them applying some kind of double standard to those who do want to celebrate Christmas and keep Christ in Christmas and understand that Jesus is the reason for the season. I don't want them to take that away from those who want to celebrate Christmas in a traditional sense. So that, that application of a double standard, to me, it's unacceptable and we don't have to go there. Just very briefly on two big elections uh, on Tuesday night. One, the Tea Party back candidate, King Cuginelli, lost in Virginia. Does that reflect on the Tea Party? Uh, he was the GOP supported candidate, not just the Tea Party. Ken Cuginelli, unfortunately, allowed the media to create a, a kind of narrative that um, would falsely reflect some anti woman policy that perhaps you know some people wanted um, the electorate to believe about him and the just briefly the other election in New Jersey Chris Christie wins a big win and his people say he's showing the way for the Republican Party to have national success by appealing um, to moderates to independents uh, to even Democrats to having a different kind of coalition put together I don't think he necessarily is the be all end all for um, reflecting what it is that our nation needs. What our nation needs is uh, someone who's going to do all that they can to oppose the folly of Barack Obama's policies. And um, I guess what I'm leading to is if Chris Christie were ever to run for president, I hope that he changes some of his tune if he were to be the GOP nominee and um, stand strong against um, the, the thwarting of many of our rights and economic opportunities that uh, Barack Obama is engaged in right now. Final, final question, Are you, do you, will you run for office again? There have been talk you might run for the Senate in Alaska next year. Are you thinking about that? We have some good guys running for the Senate seat today in Alaska. I haven't chosen which one that, that I want to support, but um, no question about it. We, we need a Republican representing Alaska or we're never going to become an energy independent nation, not with more numbers on Barack Obama's side on the, on the ledger there. And we have a Democrat in the seat now, and that's not doing Alaska any good. Um, as for me running for office, I don't know, I'll never say never, but I certainly enjoy what I'm doing now, and that is helping find folks with a servant's heart who understand how imperative it is to 
to protect our Constitution and recognize that it's the blueprint towards that more perfect union. You don't have, ever have a feeling that things have passed you by, that um, you've been superseded by those who have followed you in elective office? No, man, I want to empower those who have come alongside me or in front of me or behind me or anything. I, man, I, I, I want to empower them and encourage them and shoot, I'll hand them the microphone. They can get out there on the national stage and, and see some of the amazing opportunities that I've had. More power to them. Sarah Palin, thanks for joining us on Capital Down. Thank you. I'm honored.